Hello, my name is John Rose, and in this video I'd like to take a closer look at the wisdom of Chief Two Eagles. Now, Chief Two Eagles was sitting in his reservation hut with these two government officials that were there to interview him, and he's sitting there puffing on his pipe and uh, looking at these guys, and one of them finally said, uh, Chief Two Eagles, you've been observing the white man for many generations. You've seen his wars and his products. You've seen all of his progress and all of his problems. And based on what you've seen, in your own opinion, where has the white man gone wrong? Well, Chief Two Eagles had to think about that one for a little while, and he sat there and thought about it quietly. And after about a minute or so, he looked at these guys and quietly said, when white man found this land, the Indians were running it. No taxes, no debt, plenty of buffalo, plenty of beaver. The women did the work, medicine man free. Indian men hunted and fished all the time. And then he kind of smiles and, and says in a real calm voice white man dumb enough to think he can come along and improve on system like that now this is a really interesting comment because when we look at the first two items no taxes and no debt now that's really powerful no taxes remember the power to tax is the power to destroy and to control and then when it comes to debt remember but John Adams said, two ways to conquer a nation, one is by the sword and the other is by the debt. And that's what we are, we're debt slaves. Now, plenty of buffalo, plenty of beaver. Indian men hunted and fished all day. There, there's something wrong with that, right? Of course there is. But why are they so much better than the white man? What's the difference? Keep it in mind now, when we say the white men did the work, the Indian men had their job. They went out and did the hunting and the fishing. That was their job, and the women did all the other stuff, which I'm sure it wasn't as much fun. Imagine the guys had a good old time going out and get together and killing that animal, right? Why'd they want to kill the animal? Whatever possessed them to want to do that? It's because they already had two mistakes under their belt. Now, the white man, the problem with the white man is he has three mistakes under his belt. The third mistake we made has to do with the third thing we mastered. And that's the agricultural revolution. That happened about 10,000 years ago. If we put the human exper experience on a football field and said it was 100 yards with three feet per yard, we didn't make the very first mistake until the one yard line. That was 60,000 years ago. The third mistake, or actually I'll, I'll go ahead and say the second mistake, that's when we started, that's when we mastered animals and we started eating animals. That's on the two and a half foot line. That would be another, uh, uh, half a foot down the road, another 10,000 years. And then the third mistake we made, the agricultural revolution, that happened on the six inch line. That was 10,000 years ago. That's when we started moving into farm communities. And this is what got the white man in trouble. Because when we started moving into farm communities, we started creating all these laws. That was the beginning of the lawmaking on the six inch line. And then Three th on the three inch line another 5,000 years later is when we moved into cities and that's the definition of civilized so the red man is a savage the white man is civilized got three mistakes under his belt <clears throat> that agricultural revolution caused a lot of problems even though we know that plant eating nations surpassed all the meat eating nations in every area except their warlike expression and their obsession with sex but still nonetheless it was a big mistake to move into the cities it created a huge disconnect we're already disconnected as it is but you saw the Indians the red man they knew that that you can't crap in your own backyard they they depended upon their environment much more so once you move in the cities we become we, we live in a time of specialization where no one does all they can do, we have specialists that we go to, we rely on them, and that's part of our problem. 
We have too many specialists that do things so when you get sick, you go to someone who's supposed to be the specialist. And they're not. So the medicine man, the medicine man free, that was very telling. That Chief Two Eagles talked about, oh, medicine man is free. Is that really free? No. That's the way they first got over on us. Now keep in mind, a lot of herbs are food herbs and they can benefit, benefit us in many ways. And a lot of herbs are medicinal herbs and they can benefit, benefit us also in many ways. If you get bit by a rattlesnake, for, for example, echinacea can really help out a bunch. In fact, that's where the fray snake oil salesman came around where this guy was going around, letting a rattlesnake bite him and he'd take this echinacea and go, look what it's doing, it saved my life. So, uh, that's a big mistake, my friends. When we moved into cities, when we have all the specialists, and even with the Indian men, as long as you have somebody controlling our health, we were in trouble. So part of what the medicine man did, I'm sure, was very beneficial. But the other part, covering up or trying to treat a symptom when it was related to cooking the food and eating the animals. So we always got to go back to the first cause. And interestingly, in Daniel Quinn's book, book Ishmael, he goes back to the third mistake also, the agricultural revolution. Starting eating plants we weren't meant to eat. So what we have to do is realize that there are five main mistakes we've made relative to the five things we've mastered. And we've got to correct all of them. The easiest way to do that is to take a solid food vacation. You can check out my playlist down below and the first step will teach you how to do it. And check out the comments. People are sharing their experience as they're doing this. And I'm telling you my friends, when you can Correct these five main mistakes on a temporary basis. You can see what you're missing, and then you can feel more like a red man, feel more connected to the planet around you, and without having to go out and kill anything to do it. But you're gonna realize you can't crap in your backyard anymore because everything is your backyard. And when you can finally come to that realization, my friends, I guarantee you, you're in for a treat.